Hey everyone, welcome back. We've got another demo review for you. Uh, today we've got a uh, special guest, Bulk, the demo man from I Am. How's it going, Bulk? Yeah, good man. Looking forward to doing the demo review. Awesome, thanks for coming in. We've also got Mongo, our GBH demo man, has come along. Hey, Mongo. How's it going? Awesome. How are you guys? All know who's who and what's going on. So let's get into it. This is a demo against uh, Team Getza. Um, yep, sitting at the start. Uh, do you want to count us in, Bulk? Okay. Three, two, one, go. Medic! Oh! Alright, so um, just from the start, you can actually jump a little bit further down the stairs if you want. It just makes it that little, like, you know, half a second or a quarter of a second faster. Not a massive deal, but it, it can make a difference. Yeah. Um, so it looks like you're just going to go for a standard left side rollout. Speed's um, not too bad, you're going to pick up the health kit about 38, it's reasonable. Um, so good, yep, you've covered off both entrances for the demo and scouts. Uh, that was a little bit unfortunate, I mean, you did sort of um, push across the point aggressively and you did kind of lock out the scout and demo, but yeah. as you push across obviously um, you didn't have anything covering you on the right side and you yourself were not watching the right side so you got forwarded by the scout. But you ended up doing enough damage so that your death there wasn't really that big of a deal. At least that's what I tell myself when the same thing happens <laughs> to me. I was blaming the scouts. <laughs> yeah, quite often is fair enough. Is it really jittery for you guys? Uh, it's it's a little bit. It's not too bad. So it looks like you're about to try and link up with your team as they push into last. Looks like you are. Uh, yeah. Good about it. We, call, we call that the Bradley. If you don't know. That's when you dial. Oh no, your team's not going to get last. Okay, you're going to get cleaned up. Um, so yeah, maybe a little bit overzealous there. Your team pushing in. Um, I'm guessing you had you had full loot, but the medic went down on mid, didn't he? Yep. Yeah. 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 You you possibly could have waited. Um, for your demo to get there. But you saw the opening you went for it, you were a bit unfortunate, I mean, the demo landing on, the uh, soldier landing on your demo's head as he walks out yeah. into the last is not, not ideal. We probably should have waited, to be honest, but... Uh, so it looks like you're just kind of sitting back at the moment, just keeping defensive stickies up, working with your scouts. Yeah, good pressure on the enemy team, didn't take any damage yourself. Looks like you're getting ready to push top. No, you're gonna hold off for a moment. That's not a bad trap. You can also do just the other beam as well. People generally don't expect it. Sometimes you'll have that scout that kind of just plus forwards in right next to the pole and you can just dead on him. Don't know what I was doing there. <laughs> It's not really too bad because by kind of both like showing yourself on both doors as demo man, they don't really know where you want to pull up. And as obviously they pushed out top, so that worked quite well for you. So you traded Ubers, both down a pick, but you get destroyed by that soldier. Uh, yeah, you probably should have had your team backing out a bit further before that everyone recommitted because when you guys recommitted, their Uber was still actually active. So I mean, you just took a lot more damage than you could really afford to in that situation. Yeah. With these, um, at this point here, where they're pushing out the second, like, a am I doing the right thing here? Yeah, I mean, it is. That, that was good work. That was a little bit of overextension from their two players. Um, this this is something I often sometimes find myself doing as well. You sort of kind of crush one side and you end up kind of sandwiching the other team up on the other side of the point. And yeah, that's what I was worrying for when you went for that uh, med pick there, because there had to be another player around, and he did actually get your medic. Uh oh. Looks like you, they are going to get respawns before you can get out there, yeah. So yeah, a little bit sloppy there, but you managed to uh, hold second, which is the main thing. We'll recapture second anyway. So when, when pushing with Uber like we did just before, um, and we, we came in too soon, do you think it's better for the flank or like demo, basically the non-Uber players to peak but not commit until Uber's over basically. Yeah, essentially. The only reason, the only thing you'd want to commit to is like, so there might be like a, a soldier or, or a scout that's 
so uh, quite isolated from the rest of the team that the two or three of you on the flank can pick him up quite easily and fall back before their Ubered players get there. Sure. You know, in that situation, yeah, sure, but but if not, yeah, you really don't want to be committing your non-Ubered players into their Ubered players. But I mean, Granary, it's probably one of the hardest maps to just um, walk in and exchange Uber just because, you know, long distances, good height advantage for the defenders and, you know, easy what to watch chokes so you do need a sort of i guess it's it's kind of boring to kind of just wait to get a pick but sometimes that's what you have to do yeah we just got a medic before so waiting for players to come up and we're in yeah good taking pocket and demo in really needed to need to focus fire here a little bit Nothing's really going down that much during the U when you already lost a player. Looks like you have secured the point though. So yeah, that was good, but I find that you'll do a lot more as soldier, as pocket soldier and demo when you both just pick a target at the start and just destroy that target basically. Yeah. It looks like you're gonna roll out left again. A little bit slow, but not too bad. They're about the same speed as the other demo, so that's not too bad. Okay, so you spent a bit of time on that mid, sort of just walking onto the point, wondering really what to shoot at. Yeah. I guess it, it seemed like in that fight that they just seemed to completely overwhelm you on the left side. I don't know, sure. I think you lost a scout early. I'm not sure, but anyway, you got overwhelmed from the left and you pretty much just got crushed on, on the point, which is unfortunate. Now you're going to be holding for Uber versus New Uber, so hopefully you get some kind of util or pick class. Not pretty good traps there. Um, they're both obviously the lesser obvious traps, so not going to get checked as likely and sometimes when teams will rush through over either left or right they'll, they'll often be an uneven player that gets picked off from those traps. Um, okay and Rangy dude, you just fucking <laughs> <laughs> just, just smashed the demo on something else. It's, it's a good moment, it's a good moment. But yeah that's that's ideally what you have to do when you're defending at a disadvantage. You, you know someone has to be able to basically make a play whether it's you know Rushing in as soldier or scout, forcing, or you know, getting picks as a uh, sniper. Yeah, we just took a bit too long, and we couldn't see them, so we decided to hold back. Yeah, man. There's the spy play. <laughs> Give him the old whack. Yeah, it seemed like you, you guys are pretty onto that spy play because obviously there hadn't been anything happening for a while. No players had shown themselves. It was good awareness to be ready for that spot. Okay, so this is um, typical granary uh, excitement. <laughs> Always a throw. Is not what. So it looks like you, you sort of look like you want to push top at the moment, but you're not really willing to commit. And here comes the sniper from left. <laughs> yeah, you should really just with that sniper there. You shouldn't even really give show him anything because he's the one. You, you know, you're the one he's going to pick from that angle. Not yeah. really going to get the medic. And oftentimes, you know, pushing in the last, a demo demo pick is almost as good as a medic pick. Man, what have we done? Oh, it's their push. What are they yeah. doing? What are they doing? <laughs> yeah, to be fair, what are they doing? Uh, that is that is the true question here. Um. I don't know. Like, I, I guess I'm guessing they're just picking with uh, Kieran on sniper now, which is going to be rather long and slow process. 
I think he's playing demo. Oh, is he? Yeah, they yeah. switched up the classes. Uh, Turok's Kieran, and he's um he's demo. Uh, yeah, switched up a bit. And oh, Jono's, and yeah. yeah, okay. And yeah, that's he was sniped from uh, that was from bottom right, was it? I th I'm not sure to be honest. That's one of those things when when you know they have a sniper, you have to kind of just keep pressure on the doors. Ah, uh, because obviously that sniper just got to walk in. Even if you only got, you know, it was a quick shot and it was a good shot, you can still shut it down if you've got players actively, you know, spamming the doors, basically. And you missed the wall, don't worry, yeah. I did that as well. You missed that. You've <laughs> Shouldn't really have been aiming for that, but whatever. Uh, I'm gonna guess you're gonna go catwalk now. Yeah. The, the savior of failed rollouts. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Don't look at uh, me and my Yeah, you're... <laughs> whenever else, not, it's not a bad idea, but... Ooh, good pipe there. Um, a bit unfortunate there. That was a great part though, because that just completely pushed their team back on the right side and allowed you to actually come into mid. Unfortunately, you got bombed by a soldier, but your pocket is doing massive work. Uh, somehow, <laughs> you got your medic. I don't know what happened there, but it's probably a little bit of a misplay. So yeah, that, I mean, it was, it was good by you, like, it was pretty much, like, rolling out in the least ideal circumstances, but you still, you still made something of it, you know, you didn't do a massive amount of damage, but you still, you know, hit a solid pipe, and pushed their team back, and got your team a little bit of space, which allowed your pocket to really just clean up the players on mid. You got nice. stick you there to pick off the scout. They're committing even more players, okay? They all drop down. So yeah, that was a nice clean take, you didn't have to pop. Oh no. Oh, wasn't that one? <laughs> <laughs> I was going flashbacks. Happen? So, uh, beautiful Ziggy's there, cleaning up that scout. Um, should really be looking to pop into them now. If you have, actually, sorry, I didn't see that. Oh, okay, so yeah, that was a bit of a problem. You guys Ubered in, but you Ubered in, like, half the team, and the other half the team were just kind of, seemed like you guys were just scared for your life because there was aggressive players coming at you. Um, you should probably, when it's Uber versus Snowy, but I think his demo, you really have to commit, um, just because, you know, you're the highest damage output on your team, so you really need to be up in the front line, taking plenty of that uber, and just getting good solid damage out. Um, caught that demo again, really nice job. He really did stuff, learn how to walk out of roller doors. So yeah, this is good work, just bullying them off point. Uh, you've lost a player, but you should be able to get this point. Scouts rushing at you. Nice pipe, sticky. And it's good your soldiers are linking up with you now. You probably could have placed those things a little bit more aggressively, but you just wanted the cap, so that's fine. You got what you needed. Right. Yeah, you probably just stayed in there a little bit too long. You should have been probably backing out when you saw both soldiers were there. Oh, I'm not sure if you were, the, were expecting the Uber or what, but yeah, it wouldn't have been an ideal place to get forced either. Uh, the soldier's doing some good work, you know, the, you lost your medic, but this shoulder, soldier should be able to clean up at least one scout. Time has been added. Alert. Our control point is being captured. Yeah, it was an okay defense. It cost you a scout, but they shouldn't really be looking to repush just from that. One thing I would mention is, um, 
when you see the demo like up close like that and putting up stickers like that, oftentimes um, it means you you can just like let your Roma just go out and have a bomb just because if he's on that side it means obviously that on the right side there's going to be no stickers or anything and your Roma might be able to get in on the medic. Uh, it's like your <laughs> spy got raped by their medic so uh, had a bit of a stalemate again. I'm not really sure why you went um, spy there though, Rangy, since you seem to be doing quite well as sniper and I, I feel it's just... It's a more consistent pick class than, uh, than spy is. Simply because you can get that headshot on the player and your team can immediately push and you know, you're not sure, dead. Sure. Yeah. Because obviously when you do get the pick as spy, you generally get one pick and then die instantly. Sure you died there as sniper, <laughs> but again, it's just... Well, it means your push is just another 20 seconds to load. Looks like since you've lost both scouts, they are going to commit to this. Um, really good positioning at that Roma, unfortunately. Uh, I'm not sure, did you think your medic was with you there? Yeah, or? I did. Even then I... Uh, yeah, okay, so that was a bit of a miscommunication there, because yeah, I, I was kind of like, I thought as well, okay, he's about to get, you know, popped on, but... Obviously your team, your combo decided uh, other things. So that's just one of those things, you really have to, you know, be on the same page as your combo, just because... Little things like that. I'm, I'm guessing stuff like that. It, ha it happens pretty regularly as well. I'm, you know, for players of all skill level. And it's just, it's one of those things. You just have to always, you know, kind of keep up the communication with your combo. Oh, the Benny trip. The difference was Benny used it about once. <laughs> <laughs> I think he was, he was the one that made it, uh, you know, he made it big. And everyone uses it. Hey! <laughs> so again, nice little blind. Okay, so at this stage, yeah, you, you really should have backed out a, a bit earlier there. You shouldn't have really tried to recontest, because even though you, you know, thought you maybe could have stopped it, they had a massive player advantage, and you just you pretty much just got crushed, because the players all just went to the right. If we could have stopped it, should we have? Um, or... No, because they had a player ad, so you stop it, and then you pretty much have to fall back out, and they'll recap cap it anyway. I mean, yep. yeah, sure, you reset the Ubers, but you're probably better just keeping under that Uber. Let's see, you've rolled left again. Good time. Okay, so you've hit the demo. Done, done, done a bit to the scout. Pushing up very aggressively across the point. Uh, Oh, he's got the medic. The roller. Uh, yeah, so that was that was a bit of an odd rollout because you guys pushed all across mid when they were all on both the extreme right and left of the map. So you kind of got circled and surrounded, basically. Um, it's probably better off just instead of going across mid to, to either wipe out the players, you know, on your left side or on the on their right side. Alright, so you're going with the uh, the patented A's critical Krieg defense. Did you actually get this from A's or did you guys just decide to do it? Just do it, I think. Uh, yeah. I don't know, maybe I still to him. Maybe it's Ice and A's secret. <laughs> Yeah, maybe getting a little bit too forward there. You'd probably be a bit more careful. Don't really, you really don't want to get caught out of this demo before the push starts. So they're coming in from the right, you're pushing them with crits. Shouldn't really be pushing in, um, yeah, your medic dies instantly. And yeah, so the crit on defense, it, it's a valid strat, but you can't really, you know, you have to sit back and try to pick off a player or two and just hope that you can kite around their uber enough that you'll be able to eventually win the fight.
Info entered channel. Ooh. Alright, so it looks like you're rolling left again. Decent time. So you're pushing up against the right side. So is there demo, you hit him, so good job there. Oh, good nice. damage against that soldier, but unfortunately uh, both soldiers jumped you, you didn't have any support on the point. Good fight though. It was a nice fight. <laughs> you can always take that to the grave. Yeah. So yeah, it looks like you guys are having a bit of trouble dealing with their soldiers, and it seems as well that, because you seem to be losing a scout early quite regularly, and um, they've, when they've still got both the soldiers alive and you've only got one scout up, uh, their jump's going to be pretty devastating. Uh, really good damage there though. Uh, not sure why they were extending that far when they didn't have any heals, but good job cleaning them up nonetheless. Alright, so you're going to try and lock them out from pushing in as your team gets point. Good job. Don't want to extend too far, you're not. Time has been added. So you want to be a bit careful about committing too many players actually inside this room because if their demo was sitting back like spamming some pipes in right now and a soldier kind of peeked in and hit them on. So you can drop the medic before he gets it? Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice, nice. Got the job done. Got the job done. So I thought Ubers were a bit closer than that, but apparently you guys had a massive advantage, which you used quite adequately. Uh, you've lost your own medic again though, but if you can cap this, you should be able to just push on and take last. Ah, uh, and then the body from behind kills three. <laughs> uh, Don't worry. Oh, Rangi's on it though. <laughs> Spade boxing all the way. There you go. Yes. Yeah, it was a you know it was a sloppy round, but you did what you needed to to win the round, which is sometimes what really TF2 is about. You don't always have to win pretty. Um, so maybe ease up a bit with your um strafing. If you strafe a bit too much. Like when you're jumping, you're gonna lose a bit of speed, so it's gonna slow you down. Um, so you decide to go uh, walk. Sorry, catwalk. You and the demos there at the same time. Uh, good damage on that scout. Now you're really focusing those players up high. Yep, good job. Good damage in there. They should be backing out. Uh, once again, though, it's the yeah, it's the players coming from behind just. You kind of, your combo is pushing up, and like, then they've still got two players behind you though, and there just seems to be, those two players seem to win the 1v1 against whoever they pick it with, and that's kind of hurting your team once, because even though you had a player ad at the start, once, you know, you lose those two players, then you just get absolutely, you know, crunched from behind. Yeah. As you've done that mid. So, uh, looks like a, a combo is pushing across point every time, and then we're getting destroyed. destroyed. Yeah, I mean, it's sometimes, it, it's... Sometimes mid can be a bit funny as demo because, you know, even though you do great damage at the start, you're pushing their team back, you might not necessarily be able to go aggressive just because the rest of your team isn't struggling or there's players behind or in positions that are going to make it difficult to actually, you know, get a solid push ahead without, you know, getting flanked. Um, so, kind of become a sloppy fight at last. Uh, they've captured second, but you guys look like you want to retake. You should be able to do so if you can get the picks. I um, don't know what I was yeah. doing. Yeah, <laughs> I, I, I know what you wanted. You saw the medic there and you thought, oh, I can hit these two pipes and I can kill him, but uh, unfortunately, TF2 doesn't always work that way. <laughs> so yeah, a little bit too aggressive. Um, losing demo and medic on a second retake is very bad. They're going to be probably re-pushing before your medic's up. Uh, maybe even before you get out the door. And yet, they're coming in from the left now. So you're just going to have to keep putting up long-range spam. I'm putting good pressure on them so they get they have been forced back. If you can kill one of these scouts, it'd be very big yet. Yeah, there you go, that's a pick. Looks so like they are coming in now though. Again backing up, both scouts are down. Um good pressure on the combo, don't want to overextend, good. You're going back to your combo. Okay, so this is when your team just needs to relax. It's two down a piece, uh 
just let the last fight reset and uh, yeah. Okay, they're committing now because they've got Uber. Uh, good job forcing them. Solo demo Uber here probably won't do a whole lot. Um, So yeah, I don't, you, you don't need to really get that up in the face of scouts, like, it's just always, a, it's never a good thing really to be as close to a scout as possible because they always win that fight, simply because uh, meat shot and uh, self pipe damage just absolutely destroys you. Time has been added. But that was quite a good retake, uh, Red's back up, not sure how he died in that last fight, uh, Anyone else know? Uh, well, there's a back shot now, him. you... Just don't debt yourself. <laughs> it's always the worst when <laughs> they walk through the door. <laughs> it looks like you're trying to cut off the players down the right, but they're already down. Good job. Not your team, not you. <laughs> you just walked there. You didn't do anything. Uh, so it looks like you're waiting to push second. Seem pretty hesitant about which side you want to go if you want to commit. <laughs> Looks like you're just gonna hold the yard. No, you are gonna commit to second. Yeah, so yeah. you are gonna go to the left in the mid. Late, late, gonna think now. about it. Gonna think about it. Still thinking about it. Maybe. Maybe. No. Decisions. Decisions. But yeah, that's that's the situation there. Like, you should know when your team isn't with you and you need to back up straight away because if that scout plus you, I'm oh, nice fight there. Good work with the, uh, your soldier picking off the demo. It's just one of those situations, you really don't want to get have easy death, like, you know, you don't want to give away free free kills as demo, because, I mean, you know, you're such a valuable class. Our control point is being captured. So, you're going back to your other... probably not the best idea. Time has been added. Ah, uh, the bed cap. So yeah, it really should have been more than just you going back for that, um... That back cap. I'm not sure what the call was, but yeah, you need definitely more than just a demo to stop a back cap. Especially, you know, when you're only on 80 health and you're one v one a scout, that's always going to be a tough call. Uh, looks like you're rolling right left. Speed's good. See, so yeah, what I'd like to do is get that one early sticky on, sticky on the demo and then focus stickies on the scouts. Good job there, hitting him for 80, but if you hit the one on the catwalk as well, you probably would have nearly killed him, just by yourself. But that good damage you did has allowed your team to kill most of their players, just gotta clean up the scout and soldier. Hopefully he doesn't kill your medic. Please don't kill the <laughs> medic. Okay, so your medic lived for once. Um, <laughs> you must be very proud. A happy moment. Okay, so that's great. You've got a pick and you're already pushing in with uh, full Uber advantage. This should be pretty simple. Good damage on the salt. Good damage on the medic. Good work so far. So yeah, do you notice how that, that Uber went a lot better when both you and the scout and also a soldier were focusing on the same targets and they just melted pretty much straight away. That's really yeah, what you want to do when you're playing, you know, full uber, yeah. More focus fire. Okay, so you've gone for the sticky early on to catwalk, I think it was. Oh no, it was both on the ground. Nice pipe there. You are going to die, but you might have done enough work for your team. Again, though, I'm noticing, um, you know, three stickies under the health kit, like, it's fine, but you really don't ever need more than two. Just because if there's three on it, he's never going to actually pick up the health kit, He's because he's just going to die instantly. Um, so, I mean, really, at least one or two of those stickies could have been directed at scouts yeah, well, or soldiers. Yeah.
Like, it's one thing I struggle as well, because I, I often get carried away with, um, you know, dueling the demo man and, you know, winning this head-to-head -head fight with the demo man, whatever the hell that was. But in reality, you can be a lot more effective, you know, killing what's just, you know, easier to damage. And maybe which is generally going to be the scouts and soldiers, because they'll be more in the open. And nice play. Thankfully your medic didn't die. I don't know, we're running out of time. Where was, where was the all-out aggression, boys? <laughs> I don't think we realised. Situation awareness isn't that high. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Sweet. What are, you, uh, what are your thoughts, Bulk? Yeah, I mean, you know, you're, you're a solid, you know, I guess, what are you guys, like, mid div 2 or something, mid, mid low, low to low div 2? Oh, it's three code, three, three code yeah. div 3. Bottom of div 3? Okay, okay. <laughs> yeah. we're, we're about div 3, we played div 3 last year. I was going to say div 3, but I want to be rude, I'd be like, oh, I don't want to call a div 2 team div 3. <laughs> oh, good. Oh, uh, yeah. Um, but yeah, no, you know, you've, you, you've all got the basics of the game, it's just sort of refining the little bits and just, those little bits of uh, teamwork and sort of, just basically using you know, your communication as a weapon, basically. Yeah. Yeah, we are. Um... You know, at, at, for you, Mongo, you know, you always want to be talking with your combo. You know, you want to be with them. You know, most of the time you want to be standing next to you. Not standing next to you, like, literally, but you know, in the general position of your, your uh, pocket soldier and medic. There was a few too many times there where you just sort of strayed a bit too far out by your own, and you might not have gotten picked, but as you'll move up, when you do those sorts of things, there's going to be a lot more scouts that are going to take advantage of you, um, and just to get those those free kills on the flank. Yeah. But other than that, yeah, it was solid work. Your mids were quite good. Um, speed was good. Getting out good damage at the start. Just remember to not always focus the demo, and um, your mids will go even better. How do um, I find on Granary mids like the the roaming soldier? whether he's coming hard on our right, you know, so right down to our garage and then jumping across, or even if he's coming um, through the garage. I, d I just don't... I'm always scared of him getting me, really. Like it, it's... It, and you always are going to be. That's that's the honest truth about um, Ground Ring Mid. It's, it's really hard as a demo to survive that bomb, just because it's not like Badlands, where... You know, you have much different kind of terrain. You have low ground. You can, you can, you know, you can duck under the bridge. You can back out through corner like early. You know, there's a lot more options. Whereas on granary, generally that bomb comes. You're kind of standing on the point, and you know he's going to get that pretty easy first and potentially second rocket. I mean, it's really up to. It, it's not always up to your scouts, but they can play a large part in in shutting down that roamer. Especially if he is jumping that little bit later, just because um, you know by then they should have good position on crates or uh, walkway. But I mean, the other option as well is to um, since you were having a lot of problem with their aggressions, I would just suggest um, playing catwalk a bit more often, mm -hmm. just because um, obviously you can't get plus forwarded by their scouts. Uh, much the the Roman needs more distance and height to be able to actually bomb you effectively. It, it is a bit of a risk sometimes going walkway because if you do, um, you know, you take too much damage up there, it's pretty hard to actually, you know, stay in the fight because you either yeah. drop down and risk either cratering or, you know, being so low that you'll know one little bit of splash damage is going to kill you or you yeah. have to just back out into, um, you know, into garage completely, which is not ideal. Cool. Awesome. Thanks, Bulk. Any yeah, more, thank you very much. Any more questions, Mongo, while Bulk's here? Oh, probably millions, but I can't think of any right now. <laughs> uh. All good. Sweet. Oh, that's, um, that's awesome. Very helpful. Um, thanks for that, Bulk, and uh, yeah, all the best with I-49 and, and all that. All that yeah, jazz. thanks a lot, mate. Looking forward to it. Yeah, can't wait. Good luck. <laughs>